Hi all, this is Kamal Azaz, representing Core Inters, a team of full stack developers and security analysts. First of all, uh, before getting into this video, a uh, lot of love and thanks to your support throughout this entire playlist. Let me tell you why this video is special. In this video, we are going to talk about the final pitch deck which we made that is for the final presentation and the final round which helped us in winning the Smart India Hackathon. So it's typically going to be a walkthrough on our final pitch deck, how we planned it, how we drafted it and how we delivered a killer presentation which won us the Smart India Hackathon 2020. So in the previous videos, we would have talked about the PPT which helped us in getting shortlisted for the grand finale. We would have had a deep walkthrough on what all you need to do for getting shortlisted, what all should be included in the PPT. But something that always remains uh, underrated is the final presentation. The final pitch deck which you are going to present in front of the judges during the final round of evaluation and the one which is going to help you in win the hackathon. Just as how much the product demo is important. The more important is the final presentation, how you are presenting your product to them, how you are showing your problem, displaying the solution, the business perspective and everything. So having a final pitch deck is something very crucial. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the pitch deck which we made, a typical business pitch deck which helped us in winning the Smart India Hackathon. Before getting into the pitch deck, I would like to say what was the overview of our pitch deck. We ensured that the problems and the solution which we are providing to be specific it should not be too exaggerated and in a way which it cannot be understandable the final presentation is just eight minutes so we split it up in a way that we are going to pitch our presentation for two minutes we are going to show our demo for one minute the architectural analysis and the code analysis by the judges for two minutes and the questions from them and the answer for the next two to three minutes. This is how we plan and this is how it went as well. So having a proper planning for a killer presentation is also important here. So let me just have you walk through on our business pitch deck. And this is the presentation which we showed in front of the judges. So in the first page, we just, uh, uh, this is what we do. We just mention the product name and our team name. That's all, nothing much. So then comes the problem statement. So by reading the problem statement itself and the way that you are explaining the problem statement, it itself should be that you have understood the problem statement in the right way. Okay. So here, as I said, uh, the problem statement was given that we need an alternate authentication method for OTP. Why we need it? It was not mentioned that, but that was the problem. And that's what we have mentioned here. So when you analyze the problem here, time delay in OTP authentication, failure in low network zones. Uh, there is a possibility to hack immense server load management services. So these are all the problems which we analyzed. And this slide, it just took us uh, 10 to 15 seconds for explaining because it is directly uh, laid out here on what is the problem. And with respect to each point of the problem here, that is how you need to draft your solution. That comes in the next slide. And that too has to be specific. As I would have said in our previous video, we devised a method which is basically called as USSD, which helps in authenticating and logging into websites even without internet and even in airplane mode. That is how it functions. And that is what we have mentioned here, USSD triggered offline authentication. So the word USSD, we had uh, 15 to 20 seconds to explain what exactly it is. And explaining it with a real time example is something that would make it more clear. What is USSD? I have said in the previous videos itself, let me tell you once again. In the older generation phones, especially for the button phones, we have something called star 99 hash or codes which can give us the balance and stuff. That is called USSD. Using that, we created our own authentication system. So just going to a website, tap on, put your details and put on verify, you will be getting a USSD code there. You have to just take that and call it from your phone. Automatically, it will get logged in. 
and uh, that is how the entire process works behind i'm not getting deep into it because we are planning to bring it out as a product and that is what we have mentioned here eminent multi factor authentication system rapid and dynamic uh, security standard high efficiency in low network zones unbreachable quad level uh, security why i am saying unbreachable because when it comes to aes and ds the layer of security comes from 4 to 8 and we have built up to 16 layers of security because it's a custom algorithm and uh, and this is too specific right i have not taken it too brief or something the points should be so specific that it is understandable then what comes next the architecture now what i explained the working it should be laid out in clear in the architecture right that's why i explained it before just see the architecture i hope you are able to get it it's a web login the user is going to put his credentials he is going to click on authenticate using ussd that's all so then dial the ussd in the mobile automatically the request will be going to the server through our api it will check the typical validations our custom validations and if it matches automatically status to and logged in this is how simple the architecture should be because uh, our judges spent more than a minute in this architecture and uh, it was easy for them to understand and they were able to ask questions through it and that is how an architecture should be and uh, this is the base perspective of our pitch problem solution what is the architecture and then we gave a product demo like uh, as a what all i said about my product we gave it as a demo we showed the working and everything and they were impressed then came the code review section they started reviewing our code and all and then we took a lead a step ahead and started pitching about our business plan and that gave an upper hand to show that how much market analysis we have done how much we are uh thinking about the product as a long term goal and not limiting as an hackathon that is always an added advantage in the initial ppt itself uh, there would be a line in the notes stating that ideas which have a business plan will have an upper hand and that is what we did here so we did a competency chart this is analyzing on all the existing authentication systems and how our product would stand against each one of it and we had everything as a numerical statistics to show how much uh, we did as an analysis this is called a competency chart and this was invented by steve jobs and uh, ensuring how much high security and how much dynamic the authentication is our product stood on top because we were able to capitalize on the cons of other products and this too impressed the judges and uh, this comes the competitive advantages and uvp as i said in what way our product would stand tall over the other existing market leaders and i think i won't no need to go much speed on this uh, authentication happens in less than a second works in without internet and all these features are something that are show stoppers and next comes our actual market study on how we made a business plan so what we thought is this product we can launch it as a saas based product what is saas software as a service we can provide this app as a service for it development companies not only for government organizations for companies to manage their entire system for example there is a company uh, code hunters so we are having around 100 and 200 employees we have our own uh, system and in that system the employees are going to log in and they need to have a proper architecture for a custom system so let me say microsoft they have an o365 authentication and just like that we can sell it as a custom authentication thing and that can work even without internet and with that efficiency and the server load is going to be minimal that's how the processing we have designed so that's what the professional business market as a saas and the market segment is uh, it development company and this is a brief uh, detail on what our market plan is how much we have analyzed the market so the worldwide available market for authentication mechanisms is around 4 billion dollars yes 4 billion dollars and most of it comprises with microsoft so 365 authentication and the service available market there is a market which is present in india that is 550 million dollars and from that let me just consider 5% of the market okay let me take 5 to 10% of the market and that is 27 million dollars that is service obtainable market something which we could capture that is we that is what we call service obtainable market and now what i am going to do from the service obtainable market i am let me just say that i am just capturing 5% of the available market that is Uh, let me consider the 5% of the available market as i said that is coming as 27 million dollars that is what som is now for 1 million api calls i am charging 0.5 dollars 
So the revenue projected by 2025 is around 500k dollars. That is how we design the entire system and we have a typical formulation for this business model for a 10% service rate commission and, and all these stuff. And this had a great upper hand. Because the judges were asking questions on uh, is the data true or statistics true and that's what we would have mentioned the sites itself where all these data are given and how we have analyzed and I said right capturing 5% of the market that should be a plan for that and that plan that base is going to be smart India hackathon that is what we said that that's an upper hand definite upper hand and so you need to be prepared for everything the worst case the best case everything so the best case is generating 5 million dollar revenue every year that is uh, attaining the entire service obtainable market the number of companies that they are going to use the number of institutions that are going to use that is the best case realistic case suppose the 10 percentage of ai based companies that are going to use our api the 10 percentage of it based companies that are going to use our api the revenue could be up to 10 lakh dollars and the thing which people lack out is we may fail right i won't say that everything was success having a proper plan even if you do good that can, that can be circumstances where we can fail and that's where the worst case scenario comes even though if we fail we can provide this system to our clients we have around uh, 70 to 80 plus uh, b2c clients in uh, code hunters and we can directly outsource the product to them and that definitely is a source of revenue right and that is how we need to have a backup plan even the worst case scenario can be your best case and that is how you can uh, enhance your product and this ai model can be used in multiple products because it's an authentication system and it is uh, having a high level of security standard in the back so we have planned to launch a women's safety application in the upcoming days and uh, the work is on progress and it will be also using the same authentication methodology and uh, this is how and then having a proper plan of your future what you're going to do api conversion as a SaaS based product then the b2c clients anyway we are going to give to our, our clients for testing at first and then we'll be launching into the market and this is how we made a proper future roadmap and this is the traction of our uh, startup so far so we went there as student entrepreneurs and uh, this pitch to help us everything in this pitch deck was so specific because now i am explaining you in detail but we were able to complete this entire pitch in just two minutes because that was the level of preparation we put in and that's why a killer presentation is always crucial and in the previous videos i wouldn't have talked uh, much about my team and this is my team that uh, did the, the impossible when everyone thought that we can't win when everyone thought that uh, it's the end these people stood out and uh, hope this final pitch deck would be something that will be helpful for you in your final pitch i'm not saying that you need to definitely structure a business model like this you need to definitely have a target market structure and things like that i'm saying on what we actually did that gave us an upper hand you can customize this as per your need as per your need as per how you want to get it done i will provide the template in the description as well and hope it helps you and keep supporting and I hope this video series was something that is useful for the society and for the upcoming participants. Thank you for the support throughout. If you have any queries, feel free to mention it in the comment section. Thank you. Signing off, Camadil Das.